Yeah, I mean, I, I'm, uh, I've been a fan of The Tick in previous incarnations for a majority of my life now. Like, I am younger than The Tick is as a property. So I've uh, grown up in a world where The Tick has always existed and got into it at a formative age and was like a lot of fans waiting. There were always these sort of rumors that maybe they were gonna bring it back in some new version, um, but they always were just whispers. And then I got an email for an audition with the tick as the subject heading, and I went, oh, wow, it's actually, it's happening now? So what, am I playing like the neighbor, or the pizza guy or something? <laughs> and then I open it up and I go, oh, it's Arthur. That's crazy, because that's a big part. And then I read the script and saw how much it was the backbone of it, and I simultaneously went, well, this is incredible. Uh, I've, I've never wanted a part more, as if I wouldn't already want to be part of this show, play this character. Now this inception of this character is so uh, brilliant. Uh, and then also, oh wow, there's no chance I'm gonna get this. There is no chance with this much writing on this character they will hire me. Um, <laughs> I mean, we I'm all thought that, didn't we? Yeah, everyone did. Did everyone. they Did they hire you? I don't know, I think I'm on sort of like a trial run period cool. right now. I'm waiting to hear how these ones go over. Yeah. Uh, it's, far, it's, it's a far more rich uh, sort of depiction of Arthur than yeah. I think, I've actually personally never read Tick comic books, but I'm, I mean, inside the comics, is it, is, is it, is it, is it much more similar? Because the other broadcast television versions, you know, Arthur was fairly, very, very much just a sidekick. Yeah, that, that's how it is in the comics too. I mean, Arthur's always kind of been an archetype. You know, and it was an archetype that had a lot of emotion in it because he is an emotional character. That archetype is a neurotic, you know, someone who is fearful, uh, very aware of everything that's going on around him, a better understanding of the circumstances than the tick. But his response is usually just to cower away and freak out. And this really kind of fleshed all that out. I mean, that's what's exciting about it is, you know, people ask me, like, is it intimidating to play a character that's existed for so long and been played well by other people, but so much of what this character gets to do hasn't happened in previous versions, and this backstory is all new, so it's this balance between like, okay, I'm a fan of The Tick, I wanna make sure that any other fan of The Tick sees this and goes, that's Arthur, he's got it, that reminds me of the character I love, but also I'm getting to play a lot of new, new stuff and new dimensions. Did you ever ask the creator of the, of the original comic and this show why he ended up sort of expanding on uh, Arthur that way, where it came from? Yeah, I mean, I think Ben's big gambit with this version of the show, you know, every time he's had a hand in every version that's existed, and a thing that's really admirable about Ben is that he doesn't want to just sort of do the nostalgia cash-in of like, okay, I have a property people like, I can just do it again and make a quick buck. Every time he reinvents the tick, he wants to come at it from some new angle, reflect what's changed in pop culture, or find a new story angle, or whatever it is. And he had been working in the time between this version and the Warburton version in 2001 on Angel, on Firefly, on Gotham, and all these shows that had these sort of larger, more emotional narratives. And he gave himself this challenge of, can I make the tick have stakes like that? It's always been sort of like a satire, first and foremost. Can I make it have emotional resonance and dramatic stakes and everything? And you don't really want the tick to change. The thing that's beautiful about the tick as a character is he is so confident and assured in who he is and what he is, which is just a force for good. Um, so in order to have a sort of emotional arc, it was like, well, I guess it's gotta be Arthur then. <laughs> I think it's just sort of by process of elimination, Arthur became the character that had to grow and reluctantly become a hero.